What was once here was a structure called Plymouth Promenade Pier, built in 1884. The funding for the build was raised by local subscriptions, and with the people of Plymouth pulling together, they raised £45,000, and work began to build the pier in 1880. The pier was a home for visitors to enjoy concerts and balls, due to the large weatherproof building that held a bandstand and concert hall. As well as this, there was a landing area for boats, water slides for the children, and diving boards which brought many clubs and societies to hold their headquarters on the pier. The pier was in fact the first public place in Plymouth to be lit by electricity. The pier, from photographs, it's always well-dressed, well well-to-do people walking around with their bowler hats and women with their tiny little waist and giant hats. And the pier wasn't originally built for tourism because tourism as we know it today didn't really exist uh, in the Victorian psyche. Uh, so the, you know, the pier was built as an outlet for the locals to go and have a relax and have a play and see shows. Unfortunately, the love for the pier dwindled and it was put on the market to be sold. And no buyer was ever found due to the horrific World War II German bombings in 1942 that completely demolished the pier. Plymouth had actually missed the heyday of the pier, so even though it was used, it never fully realised its potential as it was not seen as fashionable anymore. By the 1920s, as with all piers throughout the country, it really just completely out of fashion. Nobody was really using it, and the company went into receivership. Nobody could find a buyer for it, so it just basically stood vacant. Uh, for the best part of a decade. I think there's still um, some of the giant bolts on the side of the whole um, cliff that you can still see. When researching Plymouth Pier, it suddenly became apparent how unknown the pier is. Having constructed a survey, my results were shocking. 53% of individuals were not aware of Plymouth ever having a pier. This took me by surprise seeing as the structure was so large and the people of Plymouth were the funding for the pier to be built. The amount of people that have said, oh wow, I didn't realise Plymouth had a pier is unbelievable. You get the people that are like in their 50s and 60s who have heard of it, remember seeing when they were little the, the, the wreckage and whatnot, or they've heard of it from their parents and grandparents, but when you get to like my generation, it's, you know, people just don't know. I took this as my responsibility to begin my journey of showcasing the amazing historical background of Plymouth and more importantly that the pier was once a place of fun, laughter and joy. Plymouth Pier was such a beautiful structure. Now I have seen some amazing photographs of the pier in its heyday when they used to have events and they had a bandstand and they had dancing on the hoe and you have this glorious structure, this pier in the background. Um, and then there's also the images of when it was blitzed, when it was bombed, um, and it was just a shell of what it used to look like. Having the moving image, you know, it's, it's a slightly different thing because it actually brings these old images to life. It's the only moving imagery of the pier that we have, so it's absolutely vital that we look after it and preserve it um, so that future generations, my own generation, um, can actually enjoy it and say, well, yeah, fantastic, we used to have a pier like that, it's amazing. Looking to the future of the pier, my survey results also showed that 97% of individuals would love to see a pier back in Plymouth. Here are just some of the responses. I would love to have a pier back. What I would really love is for us to recreate the pier that was, rather than a modern structure. I'd really like us to make use of the film that we've got and the, the still images that we've got of the pier and for someone to be commissioned to actually bring it back to life the way it was because I just think it was such a super special um, structure. A pier is something that can run all year round. They put an all-weather um, roof on it like, like the Victorians did. And, you know, it can be used all year round. For me, the pier was an incredible structure that held many wonderful memories for those who are lucky enough to experience it. Visiting such places as Paint and Pier proves just how popular and stunning these water structures can be 
and I'd love to one day see a pier enjoyed by the people of Plymouth in the near future. But for now, I hope I have brought back the wonders of Plymouth Promenade Pier to hopefully be known and remembered by all who live or visit Plymouth.